let's talk about raffia today. I think that raffia is quite misunderstood. It was very popular in the 70s, making hats and things and 90s. And uh, I think a lot of people still relate it to just making hats or the softness of that. It's really made a comeback now. And um, I think that it's, depending on what you make and how you make it, it can be very firm or it can be soft. Raffia itself is from a plant, from a, a palm plant, a raffia palm plant, and it comes off the leaves, which are the largest leaves. Um, and if you buy a kilo, it looks like this. It's a really big hank of raffia, and so it's a natural fiber. And that's one reason why I like it. It's very pliable. And depending on how you make your basket or your piece of work depends on how flexible or firm it is. Some people confuse natural raffia with paper raffia. Paper raffia, this is paper raffia here. This isn't raffia at all. It's just a generic term that's being used for raffia. So you can see that it's, you know, it looks like paper. There's different qualities of this as well. So you do need to be careful what you use because raffia itself is actually, you know, if it gets wet, it doesn't get ruined, but some of the paper raffia will just disintegrate. This is another one. So you can see that it's a continuous fiber. Um, so it's, it's very different to natural real raffia. So I've got a few examples here of what I've made with raffia and um, various things like these bowls. So this is just like a random overstitch and that can look like that or it can look like this. So it's a similar stitch and um, that one has used all the scraps up of raffia of the different colors. This one's a little bit more um, refined and organized as to what's happening there. We've also, that's another random overstitch here. This one here, this is a spiral stitch and just used with a thread. And this one too, so lovely colors. This one here is a wrapping stitch and a long and, sh long and short stitch. So that looks lovely using it with colors and just blending the colors. That's long and short stitch as well. And then these ones here are just the various different stitches that you can do. And there's probably still more as well. So we've got, um, this one's crocheted. So you can crochet a raffia as well, which is really, really good. That's another crocheted one there. And also if you pull it really tight and you have like a core and you're stitching it really firmly, it will be a really firm basket. So that's, that's a really firm one. This one here is a nice and firm and done with the lid. And then just these little examples here. So if you want to know more about making raffia baskets, I've got an online course. Um, check out my website, so craftschooloz.com and online workshops. And it's $49 to learn how to make five different techniques and to create a raffia basket. So if you want to look into that more, check out my website.